Alright, an update on the rain heat pump. It's uh, a briskly freezing cold. Come on, give us the real temperature. Seven's a bit much, so it's getting, picking up heat from somewhere. Yeah, that's about it. There you go, so it's beautiful cold, three degrees outside. We had snow down to 600 metres today. I'm at basically at sea level, I'm about 40 metres, 30 metres, something like that. But, um, like snow down to 600 metres, it's on the hills 40 k's away from where I am. And, uh, I thought I'd come out to the ream heat pump and just see how it performed in shit house cold weather. Now, normally the, uh, the laser pointer, normally the sensor there would, uh, shut this unit down and say when the core freezes, it would just turn on an electric backup element. Well, we ain't got no sensors. Get rid of all that rubbish. So it's just either make hot water or freeze yourself solid. I don't really give it any other options. So currently it's making warm water and freezing itself solid. Like so, it's only been going a few minutes. Let's get a temp on that, eh? Ooh, negative two. About uh, an expansion valve there. Oh, we're in the negs. Now, yeah, the question is, are we making hot water? Well, we're not going to get hot, are we? But yeah. Bit hard with that thermal, ah, thermocouple. Oh, it's significantly warmer than outside. 12 degrees is probably about right. It's still not warm, but compared to my freezing cold fingers that it were uh, in two degrees before. So, it still works in these crappy conditions. There's a thing called uh, thermal energy gain coefficient or uh, thermal coefficient of all heat pumps, whether they're house heaters or they're uh, water heaters or mega big commercial pool or hot water heaters, whatever. Scale doesn't really matter, even your refrigerator. But uh, let's talk about making something hot and uh, having to dissipate the cold on the outside. So the higher the ambient temperature, the, uh, the better the condenser side of things works, which means you're able to make more hot water on the uh, hot water, hot air, whatever, um, on the compressed or the high pressure side. So when it goes into your house, to your heat pump, or gets transferred into the heat exchanger, which is in there, wrapped in that nice insulated box, cold goes in the bottom, hot comes out the top through that pump. Wherever it's uh, is situated, the where the exchange happens is. Uh, Generally, the higher the, higher the outside temperature, the ambient temperature for the uh, condenser, the more performance you'll get out of it. So, in this case, it's freezing cold outside. The ambient, look at the concrete's. Nah, the concrete's still 10 degrees. It's, it's a lie. It's, it's, yeah, it's like three degrees out here. It's freaking cold. I think I'm picking up a bit of heat from the Milwaukee torch. <laughs> the heat sinks in the side of that or the LEDs are significantly warmer than outside. Um, so really these are only something that you want to use when the ambient temperature is up. There are some that uh, quite, have quite a different co um, energy coefficient to others and uh, the way the sliding scale works is the further you drop the ambient the less energy they make for you so this is rated at 800 watts of energy consumption and 800 watts of energy consumption makes you uh, three kilowatts of heat is the way they rate them out of the box now they don't tell you about coefficients and things like that i had to do my own research on coefficients with uh with a quantum branded heat pump but uh, yeah i could work out 
how much more hot water it's going to make at uh, 20 degrees ambient temperature on the condenser versus 5. You can work that out. You know, something that's worth mentioning is you've still got airflow. So the downfall with airflow is any time that um, airflow creates more of a cold temperature anyway. So you're probably better off with a bigger condenser and dragging the air over it gently rather than getting a faster wind speed. Faster wind speed to me would indicate more of a cooling effect which doesn't work in winter. But uh, the only good thing about a freezing cold night is a nice clear sky. I got stars. I can't see them because I got a torch on my phones going at the same time. But uh, there you go, it's off. Can we see some stars? Maybe it's not dark enough to pick them up yet. Oh, there we go. But uh, nice clear night means nice clear sunny morning. Probably with a bloody frost, but uh, yeah. If you get yourself a second hand room heat pump and use it as a pool heater, you can make your own frost whenever you want. Now, do some more real world testing when it's not so goddamn cold. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. If you did, give us a like. If you didn't, or you want to ask more, smash the yeah, uh, smash it in the comments, message me, whatever. Um, yeah, subscribe if you like my videos. I'm trying to do a bit more of this kind of stuff to uh, show people what's out there in the world and that you can repurpose a lot of things. But yeah, piece by piece we'll do that. Thanks for watching. See ya.